And first, I'd like to, to Ms. Marissa Bograf, um, Acting Chief, uh, Cultural and Public Affairs uh, Division for National Parks, uh, Dr. Anna Isabel Sanchez Ruiz of the Charter of Affair of, uh, of the EU, dear friends and colleagues. Uh, I'm delighted, really delighted to be here today, and I'm very proud that Ireland has joined our European colleagues in bringing cultural events to our new friends in the Philippines. It is exciting to find the arts here so alive and so active. And I look forward to the many more opportunities to share our culture by learning more about this beautiful, beautiful country. It is truly an honor that Ireland should be given the privilege of opening the programs for this year's Theatre in Europe. I want to thank first the EU for setting all this up. It's fantastic. I want to also thank the Palaiso of the San, San Juan de Tran, and indeed the Theatre of the Tran. I'm very excited to see the interpretation of the play by the talented performers and look forward to seeing the interpretation of this play uh, right throughout the evening. I also want to thank the National Parks Development Committee for letting us use the Rizal Open Air Auditorium for the purpose of today. It's very much appreciated and what a fantastic venue it is. The connection between Ireland and the Philippines has been blossoming in recent years. With, with growing numbers of visitors, students and workers moving in both directions. And indeed, the Embassy of Ireland just opened, opened our mission in November of, this, of, of last year. In many cases, these diaspora find a country that shares many of the characteristics of their homeland. However, it is not just about bringing Irish culture to the Philippines, but about connecting our cultures. While we are far apart geographically, we are still the same. We share related values, we have similar histories, both being colonized, and we both share our love of music, dancing, and the desire to be together with our families. Ireland itself has a long history of emigration, and the generations of Irish people making their homes in other countries has shaped our culture and our society at home. Today's play, based on Brian Fleeves' Philadelphia, Here I Come, deals with the motivation and the emotion facing some, someone planning to leave their home, country, and family in search of opportunities. I know these experiences have a strong resonance in the Philippines. And just by way of background, the writer of this play, Brian Freed, was an Irish dramatist, he's a short story writer, and is considered one of the greatest living English language dramatists. He is likened as the Irish Chekhov and described as a universality accented voice of Ireland. His plays have been compared to those of the contemporaries such as Samuel Beckett, Arthur Miller, Harold Pinter, and Tennessee Williams. Recognized for works such as, as we see tonight for the death and here I come, Faith Healers, and Mystic Practice, trans Translations and Dancing of Lunasa, all have been produced in Ireland on the West End and in Broadway and more and more globally. Freed addresses themes such as language and meaning, faith and authority, through the medium of the family, and in search for the elusive quality of home. He was concerned with everyday preoccupations rather than the notion of the tragic hero. Freed's play, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Here I Come, brilliantly upends the conventional setting of the play by splitting his protagonist, the main actor, personality into two characters, private car and public car. Played by two different actors, this dramatic technique enables Freel to simultaneously explore both the interior and exterior world of the character, or as Freel termed it, the physical and the cerebral. With this device, Freel was able to dramatize the way in which the public world impacts the comic by itself. Due to the innovation of nature of Philadelphia and Europe, from, the play is often credited as being the starting point of contemporary Irish drama. I will end with the most telling observation from Freed himself. On being hailed a successor to the iconic playwrights such as George Bernard Shaw and Oscar Wilde, he pointed out he was something else in Ireland. He said, these writers were all Irish dramatists who had over and acquired an English voice so that they could be more acceptable to the English people. For Freed, the only approval worth having was that of his own countrymen and country I hope that you enjoyed the performance and I will have the opportunity to meet you all at more